Welcome to Mr. Sanchez and his math. Today we're going to be talking about 5.4D, recognizing the difference between additive and multiplicative numerical patterns in a table. So let's get started with this. The table below shows the number of students needed by each chaperone for a field trip. So as you can see, you have two chaperones, six students, three chaperones, six students, nine students, and so on. Based on the relationship between the chaperones and the students, which expressions could be used to find S, the number of students assigned to each chaperone? So in this case, first, we're going to start identifying the numerical pattern, if it's additive or multiplicative. So I'm going to use the first row. From 2 to get to 6, if I add or if I multiply, can I add a number plus 2 to get equal to 6? Can I multiply a number times 2 to get equal to 6? Let's find always first addition because it's easier. 2 plus what to get to 6? I'm going to be doing the inverse. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Now let's do the multiplication. Can I do 2 times something to get equal to 6? Yes, 2 times 3. In this case, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Now I'm going to repeat which ones are my numerical patterns. The first one is plus 4, and the second one could be times 3. How do I know which one of those is, is correct if for the first one, both of them apply. Well, I have to apply the rule to the entire table. So let's start with the addition that is easiest. Three to get to nine. Can I add four? Three plus four is equal to seven. That's not nine. So not, not, that one is not. So that means that I have to do three times three is equal to nine. That means that now I just have to continue using the same rule. Four times three, 12. 5 times 3, 15, 6 times 3, 18. So now I just have to create a numerical expression to solve because that's what they are asking. The numerical expression, it will be that for each chaperone times 3, I will have S, the total amount of students. That's it, guys. Pretty easy. Now let's apply the same procedure for another word problem. The following table represents the relationship between the input and the output. So this one doesn't have any titles, it's just input and output. Create an equation to represent the relationship between the input and the output. So in this case, first I'm gonna start with my first column because before we started with the first row, here we're gonna start with the first column. Four to get to A. Four plus something to get to A or four times something to get to A. So here will be four plus four to get to A or four times two to get to A. So that means that I have two options or plus four or times two. How do I know which one of those is the one that I'm gonna use? I have to apply the rule to the entire table. That is the second lap. So let's do the second one. A plus four is equal to, yes, to 12. So that means that for sure, now after doing the second one, that means that A times, a times two is gonna be 16. This one is not. So let's continue applying the rule. 10 plus four, four 14. 12 plus four, 16. 15 plus four, 19. Now you know how to identify patterns in a table. Thank you very much. This was Mr. Sanchez and his math. With 5.4D, we recognize the difference between additive and multiplicative given a table. Now take some notes, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, guys.